Lubaba TV. Hello everybody. Salut, Teremonde. This is another beautiful day that we are here and in our new session and we're continuing to have some stories and we continue to have some visitors. And as you can see here, I have my brother who is my visitor here and we want to share some stories. We want to know some few things about him and about his trip to Tanzania. So welcome. Asante uh, Sana. First of all, I would like you to introduce yourself so the people should know where you come from and the ritual, ex I mean the ritual introduction about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is Ben. Um, I'm French. Uh, I'm here in Tanzania since more than one month, around that. And I came here in Tanzania for, to the beginning, to climb the Kilimanjaro and for doing some safaris. It was the, the, the two main things. And after I want to discover uh, other places in, in, in Tanzania, not touristic place. Okay. So you, you really like to go to the places which are not much for you? Yeah, yeah. Because for me, traveling, it, it's that. It's not going only in the um, uh, touristic place. It's to know how the, the people live. And it's not in touristic place. You see the, the better way. So this is your first time to travel to Africa? Or you have been in Africa? And if you have been here in Africa, have you visited another country? Or Tanzania is your first time to visit? Uh, Tanzania is my first time in, in Africa. I've been one time in Egypt, but I think in the North Africa is really different than, than other parts in, in, in Africa. It's my first time in, in Africa, and I love Tanzania. How, how, how did it come and you knew Tanzania? How, what for the, when you saw Tanzania for the first time, what made you, what uh, that attracted you to, ah, let me go and visit this, because there are a lot of beautiful countries in Africa, but yeah. specifically, why did you choose to come in Tanzania? Uh, especially for Kilimanjaro and for Zanzibar too. When you are kids, uh, we speak a lot of stories about, uh, and there is some name that like make you dream, like Kilimanjaro uh, uh, and Zanzibar. When you heard this since uh, you are kids, it's like a dream to to go there and it's for that I want to. So that means that many people they have the dreams to come and visit uh, Kilimanjaro and. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, I think for French people, yeah. Do they know that it's, do, do they know that those attractions are in Tanzania or they just know the places but they know they can't, they don't know they can uh, I think, yeah, in Tanzania they know Kilimanjaro, uh, safaris and, and Zanzibar. It's uh, the three things I think lots of people uh, do, do in Tanzania, yeah. Uh, and what did you like more about Tanzania now? I think you have been in for months now, right? Yeah. I think you have seen a lot of places, you have visited a lot of places. So far, what did you like most in Tanzania? What I love in, in, in Tanzania, okay, the landscape and the views are amazing, but what is the best for me in Tanzania is Tanzanian people. Tanzanian people are so friendly, every time with a big smile, like, like if you are lost in the city, uh, you will ask to someone, and if someone don't know the, the place, he will ask to another one, to another one, and find the solution, always with a smile, and, uh, and it's really friendly every time. I, I love Tanzanian people. Yeah. How many places have you visited in Tanzania? I arrived in Dar es Salaam first, after I went to Kigoma, uh, Kigoma, you, you have to go to Gombe National Park, it's so, so beautiful. After I went to um, Kilimanjaro, climbing Kilimanjaro, I've been in Ngorongoro and Tarangire National Park, and I've been to Na Natron Lake. Yeah, Natron, yeah, and now in Mwanza. And Do you still have plans to travel much, I mean to see many places in Tanzania, or what's the next plan? Uh, after, I want to go to Luchoto, Luchoto, Luchoto yeah. Uh, it's uh, in the mountain, I think it will be different than, than Mwanza, uh, because here it's a lake and there is some, some mountain uh, at this point. Um, I want to hike, maybe uh, two or three days in the mountain. And after, I want to go to the coast, like uh, Mafia Island, uh, like uh, Kili, Kilwi, yeah. yeah, that, um, uh, old city. Yeah, I have other plans. Yeah, I have in total three months. I want to enjoy a lot about my, my three months. So you have more two months. You will stay for three months. 
I want to stay uh, as long as possible, but after I go to Nepal, uh, I'm traveling around the world, and my next destination is Nepal, and I can't arrive too, too late because I want to hike in the mountain, and with the snow, with the weather, it, it's not um, the good time to arrive in December. Yeah. And I would like to know, when you visited Tanzania, yeah. what was your first Swahili words to know? Uh, my first one, uh, it was, I think, Asante. Asante. As Asante and Abari. And uh, Asante and Abari, yeah. Do you know more about Swahili? Oh, a couple of, Kidogo Swahili, <laughs> a little bit. Um, like, like I can count, I think. Uh, maybe you will tell me if it's right. Yes, um, Modia. Billy, Tatu, uh, uh, Ne, Tano, Sita, Saba, Nane, uh, Tisa, Kumi. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> so hope few few days will be good in Swahili. Yeah, maybe not, but <laughs> yeah, I try to, to speak the language. For me, it's really important when you arrive in a country and to speak the, the, the language. So far you have been in Tanzania for, for so long, for one month. One month. Uh, have you ever tasted a Tanzanian dish? Uh, not a lot. Uh, I tried uh, Ugali. Uh, Ugali and I think there is two different of Ugali for the flower. For the flower. You, you, we tried together and the, this one was really good. But after, um, I don't know the name of the other dishes, but uh, Tanzanian food is really good. I don't, uh, I didn't expect it about about that. Yeah, it's really tasty, and I think it will be more poor. And uh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So, and I would like to know because I myself I like music. Do you like music? I love music. I love music. Music is so important in my life. Like uh, I love all kind of music and um, all kind of music, and I like to discover other. Um, so, so far, have you ever listened or have time to dance or listen to the Tanzanian music? Uh, could you repeat? Uh, so far, have you ever tried to listen and give time to listen even any Tanzanian music or to just involve in Tanzanian music? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you re you um, you give me some some few artists and uh, I like to 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 listen in uh, in bar or in the bus or yeah, yeah it's I love African music. Yeah. Is there any Tanzanian song that you know? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, maybe one, but I don't remember the the, the name. But I think it's really famous. Maybe not only in Tanzania. Um, How about football? Do you like football? Uh, I don't like football. Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so far, you know, in traveling, you don't expect, uh, I mean, you don't get always what you expect. Sometimes you get, you, you get something which you didn't expect. So far, what were, was your favorite moment in Tanzania and what was your worst moment in Tanzania? Okay, my, my, it's, it's difficult, my best moment because I, have, um, I, I, I had a lot of good moments, like, like in Kigoma. The, when I was in Gombe National Park, to, to see the chimpanzee uh, was, was so incredible. Uh, climbing Kilimanjaro, pff, wow, it was uh, incredible. Uh, Safaris 2, Natron Lake 2, and I think for meeting here in Mwanza, it, it's my best moment, I, I, I think, for meeting because we went uh, outside and we go to concert, to bar, and, and uh, I met a lot of Tanzanian people and it was so rich uh, for, for me this moment in Mwanza. Uh, yeah. uh, my, my worst moment, it, it, was, it was in um, Dar es Salaam because when I arrived in Tanzania, uh, I have the plan to going to Dar es Salaam from, from Dar es Salaam to Kigoma by train. But it was really hard to get a train ticket. Like uh, the first time uh, it was full, the second time uh, it was uh, no, there is no train today, uh, the third time it was another region and uh, you have to come back tomorrow and it was really hard and it was uh, my worst moment yeah, in, in Tanzania. Yeah. And so far, you have visited a lot of places, which is your, first, is your favorite place so far in the, vis the places that you have visited? Wow, it's it's a really hard question because because uh, every time people ask you, well, where, where, where is the best place for you? But uh, every place are, are, are totally different. Um, Tanzania, I think it will, it will be one of my 
best one. Yeah, I think uh, Cambodia was so nice, China too, and I, I like to visit uh, some countries with um, different culture. And, and Tanzania was, uh, yeah, Tanzania is one of the best, yeah, I think. And if you have to, maybe if you are told to recommend for your fellow people from France, what do you recommend for them to do in Tanzania so far? Uh, going outside of the touristic place, because I think a lot of tourists, especially France, French people, um, go to Kilimanjaro airport, do a safari, after do take another plane to Zanzibar, and after come back to to to, to France. And it's not visit the real Tanzania. You you have to go outside of touristic place, and you will see another country and it's so so beautiful yeah you have to go outside of the so you recommend people they should not just do i mean they should somehow change their i mean go out of the city i mean they should go and explore the real life on the streets yeah yeah go in other cities like like arusha and and Kili and, um, and zanzibar go in Mwenza, go in kigoma go in lushoto uh, mafia island i think and there is more places i don't know but uh, go outside of the of the touristic places. And is there anything you like Tanzanian to, do, to know about your country? Anything that you would like Tanzanian to know about your country? Uh, come, come, come to France uh, and you will see a very beautiful uh, country and you will eat so well <laughs> because yeah for fr uh, French cu cuisine is one of the best I think yeah but uh, yeah yeah it's a beautiful um, country but you have to have a lot of money for coming back to France even for French people yeah, it's really expensive now but uh, yeah come so if you need to have the best food then you have to go to France and <laughs> the best yeah and by concluding is anything that you would like to say or any advice to fellow travelers or anything that you would like to, to say for for any travelers if you are if you don't be scared take your flight ticket and go to travel and you will see so beautiful places and so beautiful people like everywhere in the world uh, don't be scared take your flight ticket and and travel Thank you for your time, brother. For sure, I really enjoyed the few moments, for a few days that we've been together. I really enjoyed it. We had a good moment. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I really welcome you most in Tanzania. And if possible, you have to live in Tanzania. Maybe, maybe yeah, I will come back here, sure, sure, with other people, with friends, because I'm, I'm traveling alone. But I want to, to bring some friends and, and to, 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 yeah. We are waiting for you. So thank you for your time. You have to, to come here, uh, in this place. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you for your time and thank you for being with us. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, so as to be updated with anything that we put here in Lubaba TV. I'm Iman Lubaba and have my friend Ben. Say goodbye to... Badai, uh, 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 Badai <laughs> in Swahili, and bye bye everybody. Uh, on souscrit, on, on clique sur la petite cloche bleue, hein, et on n'oublie pas de partager. Merci beaucoup. <laughs>